Before doing much to the outside of the wall, let's make sure to seal between the sheathing and the foundation. Now we can put up that custom coil stock that John bent for us earlier. And buck out the door with stock to match the thickness of the foam. At the bottom of the door, widen the stock and fasten it well because people are going to step on it. Install foam on the outside of the wall and seal the coil stock to the foam to keep the water out. And go ahead and tape all those other seams in the foam too, including the gap between the bucks and the styrofoam. Cover the styrofoam with Tyvek cutting the classic 45 degree cuts at the top of the door and fold that flap up for now. Apply a sill flashing at the bottom using flexi wrap to go up the jams, down and out of the opening. Continue sealing all the layers with jam flashing. Notice that the flashing extends from the Tyvek all the way back to the stud, sealing all the layers. Now we can install the door plumb, level and square, screwing into door bucks and the jack studs. All that's left to do now is integrate the door frame with the Tyvek WRB, which can be done with flashing tape. The inside perimeter will be sealed with great stuff, but right now we're going to install some drain vent and the door casing. <laughs>